hello hi everyone welcome back to the session so guys today's session we're going to learn how to create a jms connection alias okay first step you need to log in integration server okay so let's start the demo click on messaging and here you can see a uh, web method web method settings web methods trigger jms setting jms triggers jnd settings and this kind of options are available so click on jms settings option okay click on create jms connection alias okay give the name as a jms on alias okay this is your jms collection alias name and description you can paste it here now you have the no transaction, local transaction, exit transaction. So no transaction means rollback and can commit happen automatically. We no need to take in care of this particular transaction. Local means uh, we can control a particular operations. And exit means uh, like here in exit transaction, multiple database, yeah, multiple connections are there. That case we are following the exit transaction. Okay. So now we are using this no transaction okay and user and password is optional so create connection earlier using here two options are there jnd lookup and native web methods api depreciated okay so select this jnd lookup option now check those mandatory fields are there and optional field you can ignore no problem catching mode if you want to enable you can enable it otherwise you can disable no problem after that max retry attempts uh, retry interval milliseconds if you want to keep all the settings as it is then you can just ignore it okay after that logging type here server log and message audit log we are following server log so any error occur in between the transaction you can go to logs and check the logs that's why we are using the server logs option okay now enable uh, producer message added tracking these things also not required click on save changes here connection factory lookup name must be specified so where it is let me check okay here connection factory lookup name so we require this connection factory lookup name so that uh, purpose i need to launch universal messaging so how you can launch universal messaging type here enterprise manager click on that particular option so this uh, page will open but it, if you getting this kind of error it means your server is not running up so that the case go to services again let me show you like let me show you the way you can launch your universal messaging type server here and let me show you one time again type server okay so here software age universal messaging 10.11 this um server is available click on start option so that you can launch your universal messaging enterprise manager this is a server basically Once it up and running, this error automatically disappears. Okay, so it gets started now. Go to Universal Messaging Enterprise Manager, click on Yes, click on Relum. So your connection uh, activated. Okay, now we require a connection factory lookup name. Click on JNDI. Here we have a connection factory name. So right click and copy it and paste it as it is here and only delete these things only um con we required okay now all things are optional no required we are keeping all thing as it is okay click on save changes once you're done with that, your JM, uh, JMS con alias, this connection got created. Okay. It, 
uh, if you want to enable this click on this no option it will get enabled okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration uh, like we started this universal messaging series after that we are starting the trading network series okay one by one we'll uh, discuss so keep watching and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe like share and comment thank you so much have a great day